There's been a lot of excitement about biomarkers for chronic fatigue syndrome, and that is with good cause, because there are a number of biomarkers that are almost ready to be used to be able to diagnose chronic fatigue syndrome. Starting with the brain, there are neuroimaging techniques, and what has been found is that the brain of chronic fatigue syndrome patients actually work differently, work harder given a particular task than the brains of patients or people who do not have chronic fatigue syndrome. And so this may be one method of being able to distinguish chronic fatigue syndrome patients from another. In terms of biochemistry, there have been changes that have been found in cerebrospinal fluid in chronic fatigue syndrome versus normal patients and also in patients with other illnesses, for example, Lyme disease. So that one can not only characterize that a patient is ill by looking at the proteins in their cerebrospinal fluid, but can actually differentiate between two closely related illnesses, such as chronic fatigue syndrome and Lyme disease by using uh, this kind of technique. Another technique that has been developed is the use of exercise testing. Uh, with exercise testing, most people can have a consistent performance on subsequent days. But chronic fatigue syndrome patients are unable to do that. So that whereas their exercise testing will be normal on the first day in terms of oxygen consumption and carbon dioxide production, it will not be normal on the second day. And so simply by doing an exercise test, uh, one could actually be able to diagnose chronic fatigue syndrome by their inability to repeat exercise on the second day.